What's up people? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you about list rendering in Vue.js. So whenever you want to loop through and render a list or an array of items, we can use the V4 directive. So let me show you how it works. So let's go over to our main JS and let's say we wanted to create a to do list. Um, so let's go ahead and create that. So inside of our data property, let's create a to do's array that's going to contain all of our to do's and each to do is going to be an object and this object is going to have a property um, let's call it item and let's make this first one clean room and we can add another to do um, we can make this do homework okay we have our to-do list let's print this to-do list to our screen um, so let's go back to our index.html and let's represent our to-do list as an unordered list and each to do item is going to have its own li but instead of hard coding each li we don't know how many we, we could have possibly hundreds or, or thousands possibly so we don't want to do it like this we can use the v4 directive so let's do that so let's say v4 uh, to do in to do's and inside of this li we're going to inject to do dot item let's save that and look here clean room and do homework are the to do's that we had here and they're both represented by an li so what's going on here so what this is saying is i want to create a new li for each of the items in this to do's array. So this is the actual to do's array that we're getting from our data. And each individual item in the to do's array is going to be represented by this placeholder to do. So this to do is not an actual variable. It's just the placeholder that represents each item. So you can actually use this. So like I'm doing here to do dot item. Well, that's saying, all right, this is represented by to do. This is to do and to do dot item just grabs that value clean room. And then for the next item, do homework. So that's what's happening there. All right. That's pretty cool. Um, view also allows us to access the current index of the item that we're looking at we can do that by let's uh, surround to do in parentheses and let's say comma index so now we can actually access the current index of the item we're looking at so let's uh, let's say dash and let's just pass in index and look at that zero and one view keeps track of the current index of the item that we're looking at okay so that's v4 with arrays we can actually use v4 with objects as well we can iterate through an object's properties so let's go back to our main js and let's add another property in our data let's uh let's just make a book and this book is going to have a title and let's just say it's Harry Potter and it's going to have an author and the author is JK Rowling and let's say we want it to loop through all the information for this book and print it out the title the author uh, so let's go back to our index HTML and we can comment this out for now um, so let's go down here and let's let's create another unordered list and um, let's create another li so let's say v4 and we're going to say we're going to name our placeholder it can be whatever you want so I'm just gonna say prop for property in book the actual object we want to loop over in this case is 
it's a real object not just an array so inside of here we can just print out prop so this is just going to get the values of all of the entries in our book object so what if we wanted to get the keys as well well we can do something similar like we did before let's surround prop in parentheses and let's pass in key and let's uh, inject it look at that Harry Potter title JK Rowling author one more thing we can do is use templates with v4 so let us say we're going back to our um, to-do list and instead of using an unordered list let's just say I wanted to use a div and inside of here we can say let's let's create a paragraph and this is going to be to do dot item and we're going to have another paragraph for the index so let's say v4 to do in or actually we need to do and the index in to do's let's run that okay so we have clean room zero do homework one looks as expected let's actually inspect the code though how does this look so let's narrow this down and inside of our body we have the two divs and the paragraphs inside of them um, so this you may not notice it at first but this isn't actually very good I mean we have divs here they don't have classes they don't have IDs they're not necessarily being used for anything except for the fact that we need to use the v4 on them um, we don't actually don't need to do that we can just render the P's the paragraphs by themselves so let's go over here and let's make this template let's make the div a template and remember template is just telling view hey I want to group whatever information is inside of me together but I don't want to render any HTML to the page so if we go back over here let's save that and look at that we don't have any divs anymore we're just rendering the paragraphs so we don't have any unnecessary markup flooding our code so we can just render what we want and that's a little bit about list rendering in Vue.js if you got any questions or comments leave them down in the comments um, got any tutorial requests leave those down in the comments as well subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload and yeah peace